of the first projects that I was uh, made aware of uh, in taking this position back in 2013 is that our project manager had uh, believed that what would be really significant is if the county of Santa Clara as well as the 15 cities in the county uh, w could actually become designated age-friendly by the World Health Organization. For me, it was hard to believe that something like this could actually happen. Five years later, saying that every city within the county boundaries of Santa Clara have achieved the designation through the World Health Organization as well as the county submitting an application and also receiving that designation. It is a huge accomplishment and again, something that I just did not consider would, would, was possible. So of course in Santa Clara County, out of the eight domains that the World Health Organization has you um, kind of look at, housing and transportation are the top two. So we did a, a survey of over 2,500 older adults in Santa Clara County. And in that survey, of course, those were the top two, housing and transportation and their needs. But then the other one would be social inclusion and respect. And so that is another issue that is just beginning to get a lot of research. The designation was certainly a, you know, a pinnacle of, of, of accomplishment, but now we have to move forward and we have to acknowledge what did all of the cities put forward as their plans? How can we engage those cities on a regular basis? And how can we make sure that in two years, three years, that this plan is still a viable plan? 